Hey everybody. In light of what recently happened with Cyber CPU Tech and other big YouTube creators where YouTube took down some videos stating that they violated the community guidelines for harmful or dangerous practices because the videos in question contained directions on either how to bypass the Windows 11 system requirements or contain workarounds for the Microsoft account requirement or trying to push a Microsoft account in the Windows setup for Windows 11. Which the good news is, Cyber CPU Tech at least has reported that his videos have been restored and YouTube reversed the strikes. That's good. I'm glad they were able to resolve that for him and hopefully any other YouTube creator has been affected by this. Hopefully it'll be resolved as well. But in light of what recently happened, some may wonder, is it in fact illegal to bypass the system requirements on Windows 11? Well, let's look at Microsoft Learn and see what they have to say there. So this is a, a screenshot of, a, um, of the Microsoft Learn website where a user asks if it is illegal to bypass the restrictions and install Windows 11 on an old PC. And of course, if you scroll down to the bottom, you can see where they reply stating that it is not illegal, but it is not recommended to install Windows on unsupported hardware. Your device might malfunction due to these incompatibilities or other issues, blah, 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 blah. They say it's not recommended, but not illegal. So yes, it's not illegal, according to Microsoft at least. This is on their website. It's not illegal, according to them, to bypass the Windows 11 system requirements, or as I call them, the Microsoft Elite Class system requirements for Windows 11. And of course, they don't recommend it. They would rather you go buy a new PC, because I believe that is the whole purpose of the Windows 11 system requirements. As I've recently covered on this channel, um, the hard requirements for Windows 11 25H2, for example, are the Windows Server 2025 system requirements. That's why the very popular product server bypass hack, that's, that's why it works, because it thinks you're installing Windows Server 2025, and therefore it checks your system to see if it meets the Server 2025 requirements, which are in fact lower than a Windows 11 system requirements. It lacks the TPM 2.0 requirement, and it lacks the requirement for a very specific 2018 or onward processor. Now we all know that typically a server operating system would have more strict requirements than a desktop OS, but with Windows 11 and Server 2025, of course it's backwards because it seems that Microsoft would prefer you go buy a new PC or what probably is the case is they probably got bribed by the PC OEMs, HP, Dell, and others to inflate the system requirements needed to install Windows 11 so that many existing computers would get replaced with new computers to drive up sales for these PC OEMs. Again, I've, I've said before on this channel, I personally think the Windows 11 system requirements are an absolute scam. Okay, so now that we've covered the whole legality aspect of it, again, what Microsoft shows on the website, it's not illegal to bypass the system requirements, but you're probably wondering if you've never done so with this, would a computer that is forced upgraded to Windows 11 not meeting the system requirements of Windows 11, retain activation? And the answer is, yes, it will. And that's because Microsoft has offered and still offers Windows 11 as a free upgrade to Windows 10 computers. And the truth is, the, the computer does not have to meet the system requirements of Windows 11 in order to gain activation. So long as you are upgrading from, let's say, Windows 10 Home to Windows 11 Home or from Windows 10 Pro to Windows 11 Pro, You'll, you'll remain activated from my findings, from my experience. So yes, um, bypassing system requirements, according to Microsoft's own website, says it's not illegal. And also, you should note that you will retain activation provided you do an in-place upgrade or even a clean installation to the equivalent of what you had with Windows 10. So if you had Windows 10 Home, you can force into Windows 11 Home and remain activated. If you had Windows 10 Pro, you can force inside Windows 11 Pro and remain activated. So, anyways, hopefully this answers some questions. Have you enjoyed this video? Thanks for watching.